around the world. It's a crazy year. A year with new tasks, with a new format. The Corona crisis is forcing us to change, to transform and to rethink. Yes, we could have done and skipped this year like every other do, but we don't. We want not to be forgotten. First, it seemed to be not interesting to pick up the idea of having an online event in our community, but it grew into a global event with the support of our partners, the city of Klagenfurt, on <coughs> of Wörthersee, the region Carinthia, our community and our crew, students from the University of Applied Science and our infrastructure partner are helping us to make this happen. And here we are in a very special venue here in Klagenfurt in the Droneberger Show Technik Hall. Welcome to the World Body Painting Festival 2020. My name is Alex Barendrecht and I am the founder of the World Body Painting Festival and I'm organizing it since the year 1998. And tonight I am your host. It's incredible. I'm overwhelmed actually because this online event merged into activities on site in the city of Klagenfurt. But online there were like more than 600, in fact it was 613 participants from 55 nationalities. And they are all working the whole week in 17 different time zones. It's just incredible and there are so many new countries and so many new artists who took the opportunity to join this event the COVID edition of the World Body Painting Festival in 2020. What can you expect today? Well, of course, the winners of this edition. We have six categories. We present you the winners. We present you our judging team, the artists who performed the whole week in Klagenfurt. We have a really beautiful program that we're going to visualize for you. We look into other countries, to the creative WBF hotspots. And, of course, we show you a lot of images from the past, from a live event, from Klagenfurt, the home of body painting. And I'm welcoming here our very dear partner from the city of Klagenfurt, Markus Geiger, Stadtrat. Hello. And he supports us already for many years. And usually we are together on a big stage. We're handing over the trophies to the new world champions and there is a crowd, there is like thousands of people in front of the stage and today we are in a studio. It's very alternative, but it doesn't matter. Everybody's watching us and usually we have many more categories, but today we're going to award these six together. Markus, I would like to speak a little bit about uh, the festival, what does it bring for a city like Klagenfurt? How does, the how does this event enrich maybe your culture, your life? Also, ich darf mich erst einmal bei dir bedanken, dass auch Covid uh, euch nicht davon abgehalten hat, diese wunderbare Veranstaltung durchzuführen. Uh, das Body Painting Festival macht Klagenfurt viel bunter, frischer, und äh, wir sind eine Stadt, die historisch äh, eben aus dem Mittelalter gewachsen ist, noch vor vielen Jahren nicht in der Neuzeit angekommen ist. Aber ich glaube, gerade das Body, also das Body Painting Festival hat uns hier äh, in die Moderne geführt, hat uns viele bunte äh, Bereiche in der Stadt beschert. Und es ist auch in den Herzen der Klagenfurterinnen und Klagenfurter angekommen. Äh, das hat man auch gestern gesehen, wie wir ja die Schaufenster in Klagenfurt bespielt haben. Um, I will try to uh, translate it for you at home. Uh, yes, Markus is uh, very happy about the World Body Painting Festival and he says that the festival gives or enriches the culture of the city. Um, the festival brings uh, to the city coming from a very old structure, from like old thinking and brings maybe something new to the city, something more urban, something, something emotional and international. I'm very happy to bring all of these artists. Usually we have something like 42, 43 different nationalities uh, that are uh, coming to Klagenfurt, spending a good time in a beautiful park, in the Goethe Park. 
Um, yes, we spoke just uh, about these activities. So uh, in this week we had more activities in the city than maybe usually, because usually we are at the festival venue and uh, we have lots of small spots this year that we staged with the, pro the projects of our artists. Um, so uh, what feeling do you get from the inhabitants from from Klagenfurt, from the people, from the locals. Do you think it's like, um, does it bring enjoyment also to them to see such a colorful world? Also die Bewohner, die Einwohner von Klagenfurt, uh, für die gehört das Body Painting Festival wirklich uh, zu einer der wichtigsten Einrichtungen, uh, Veranstaltungen der letzten Jahre und man sieht ganz genau, wenn man in der Stadt uh, durch die Gassen flaniert, heuer vermehrt uh, aufgrund Covid, uh, dass wir in den Gassen und in den Straßen hier uh, eben Darbietungen gehabt haben, aber ganz besonders und das Highlight für unsere uh, Unternehmerinnen und Unternehmer und auch für die Einheimischen ist natürlich dann, wenn wir direkt vor Ort in den Unternehmen uh, hier das Body Painting vorzeigen, wo man wirklich mitgenießen kann und die Entwicklung eines Kunstwerkes und uh, das ist etwas, was in Klagenfurt bei den Unternehmern und auch bei den Einheimischen wirklich sehr gut ankommt uh, und auch immer ja, zu größeren Menschentrauben uh, in der Stadt führt. Okay, I try <laughs> to get uh, this in English, the whole. Um, so, Markus is very, like, he gets a very good support, a very good, like, feedback from uh, the people in the city, from the visitors to the city. Uh, he's happy to see all these colorful uh, people uh, having and showing, presenting art in these different squares and ven venues. And also, uh, the economy benefits. The business people are very happy um, about it that we are bringing so many people to the city. Um, and we also try, uh, yeah, to connect, of course, to the businesses. Um, the living mannequins, uh, as you mentioned before, the shopping day, uh, we will feature a little bit later on in the show tonight, um, is one of these small initiatives that we also uh, did this year. But to give you a little impression of what the home of body painting is, um, we have a little video for you. body painting and Klagenfurt is our home. Markus, thank you very much for joining us tonight and thank you for your continuous support and we see you live next year on the big main stage and then we're going to award, of course, the new world champions live in the Goethe Park. Thank you very much. Thank you and good luck.
The World Body Painting Festival was founded in 1998 in Carinthia, in the south of Austria. It, looked, it took actually decades to found and develop this body painting art form and the movement. And it's difficult, of course, to continue over so many years, 23 years. Oh, I, do you hear this thunder? I don't know if you hear it, but we're here in the studio and Today is actually the final day of the original Life World Body Painting Festival. And out there it's raining like crazy and thundering. So actually it's a good sign and a good luck that we are here in the dry studio. Some of our core community that creates this movement and this body painting uh, community is of course invited also for you to be in a jury. And I'm very warm welcoming four people here. Please let me introduce people who are already for decades part of this community, part of the World Body Painting Festival. Bella Volen, Bulgarian artist living in Vienna for many years, and she's an academic painter, she's a professional fine art artist, and of course an instructor at the World Body Painting Academy, but at many other workshops and activities. Next to her we have Ernst Wieser, part of the festival since the second year in 1999. He started to judge when I actually asked him, would you mind judging a few artists? And he said like, yeah, okay, I don't know what crazy stuff you have uh, in your mind, but uh, I am in, I do body painting, I'll be part of this and I'm very happy that he's here tonight. He also created the Austrian Airbrush Academy. Then we have Birgit Mertel one of the most renowned special effects artists, installation artists in Austria, and multiple world champion. And Mike Shane, multi-talented artist, performer, body painter, instructor in the World Body Painting Academy. And these, ladies and gentlemen, these people, they really saved us in this week to judge all of this artwork. I told them in the beginning, how about you come to Karl Klagenfurt, how about we judge a couple of people and then we're going to have fun and maybe have some drinks every night. This didn't turn out. I will tell you about that later. We're going to have interviews with all of them in every block that we are presenting you. Yes, it's COVID time and we all feel stuck at home. It's not like, and we're not able to move we realize actually how important it is for us, for the artists, for people to move. We are used to travel so much and it's not easy to think now from home to participate in such an online event. But it is an alternative. It is an, alter an alternative because we saw how much feedback we got. And it is maybe a little bit sad too, but on the other side, we are having a new opportunity, which we, I promise you, only do this year, because next year we're going to do that live again. And only live you have a feeling. Only when you are live at the World Body Painting Festival, you can connect with the artists, not only on social media, face to face. You're developing, you are cooperating, and you learn so much when you're here. Let's have a look on the past year to give you some impressions what a live event is. Two, three, higher. 
day, this week, there was a competition. We started on Monday until Friday in six different categories. And the exhausting thing in this online competition is, first of all, to handle all this data. It's like thousands of images were sent to us. Imagine 613 participants. They're all sending us 12 to 15 photos. Some of them they sent even at 200 photos, and it was crazy to handle these files. Not everybody sent us, of course, uh, because of yeah different issues, but we had, in the end, a huge amount of participants. The 17 time zones, everybody could choose whenever he started his work on that day. We had participants from New Zealand, via Asia, to Europe, and North and South of America. A lot of time zones and exhausting for the judging and also for the team because we have to wait until the last one finishes and we have to start the judging the day after. In fact, we just finished judging probably one hour ago. And I'm very happy that the team did such a good work that we can present all that content already to you. The jury process is a very different in the online version, as I explained already. But last time, uh, when we had one of our dear judges, Danny Zanz, in the World Body Painting Festival, we did a video about how it is to be a judge at the live event, at the World Body Painting Festival. Let's have a quick look. I have a mission, to be judged for make improved people and, uh, and be if they need something, you know, from me. It's uh, very difficult to judge and to say that one is better than that one. We're very difficult. I don't like so much to be judged, but I think it's very important for the students. I look creativity, I look the style. For me, the most important is my first vision. I say, oh, it's beautiful, it's not beautiful. And not. After that, I check, sure, is this clean? Not. But for me, you know, it's a, it's a vision. Global creativity impress me, you know, the emotion. We're coming to the first awards tonight, the Amateur Awards in Brush Sponge. These awards are presented by our partner Asia Colors. And the theme in this competition was Psychedelic Circus. The category was created a couple of years ago when there were so many artists coming already but didn't just quite reach the level of a world championship participant. So the amateur awards are those who just are in the beginning or already better educated in body painting but still didn't reach that level. The Amateur Awards had also quite a huge amount of participants. We're going to look at one of our hotspots, the WBF Creative Hotspots. These are places that we mm, developed over the last two months where artists say like, okay, either I work at home or how about we just going to ask other people or invite people to my studio. So there were a couple of different artists coming together, sometimes on a specific day, sometimes the whole week. And we're going to have a look on these creative hotspots, what was going on there. The first hotspot is in Padua, in Italy. Let's have a look what they performed this week. Hi guys, welcome to Italy. We are in Gran Torto, a small town close to Venice, about one hour by car. Uh, I think we have a big body painting community here because we like to share this passion with our friends. So we invite them, first of all, to be our assistants and then we share our passion and they also decide that they want to be artists with us. My 
expectations for today is just to have fun together. We have been apart for such a long time after this corona lockdown that all I wanted was, was just to get together and paint and do what we love. I don't know if I will plan other gatherings in the future because it's very challenging and it's a lot of time and effort but of course I don't want to plan it for next year because I want to be there with you in Austria for the next World Body Painting Festival. I want to see all my friends all around the world and stay with them and have fun. Ciao dall'Italia! A kiss for you! Thank you for the nice words. It's incredible, the Italians they just did a little event out of this creative hotspot, as you could see here on the stage. Let's have a look on the other side of the pond, to Las Vegas, to Skin City. WBF, or World Body Painting Festival, is literally like the Super Bowl for body painting. And it's usually in Austria, but this year, there are 16 hotspots around the world, and we're lucky enough to have one here at Skin City in Las Vegas. Skin City has been around since 2006. I am the founder of this company, and now I run it with my partner, Ross Gibson, who is also a performer with Cirque du Soleil. It was quite exciting. I mean, it's nerve-wracking to do your first competition in a big way, but it went really well yesterday, and today we're doing it for you here. Robin, thank you for everything you're doing for the community, just bringing this whole competition here. And, you know, Maria, I, I hate to say it, but now I'm gonna, I think I, it's time for me to go get naked and start getting uh, body painted. What do you think, do Robin? It. I love yeah, it. No, I'm, just, I'm just joking. Let's We're not, do it. Nobody, Why not? Maybe a little too hairy. No, uh. Nobody wants that. No, I, I, listen, Muna's a legend. She couldn't even, she, she wouldn't know what to do with me. Yeah, that was really funny. They got actually visited uh, during the hotspot, during the work from a local uh, news channel, Channel Fox, uh, Fox News, and we took their uh, footage to just show you what's happening in Vegas. So, um, I think it's time. It's time to see the first winners. As I announced, the Amateur Awards in Brush Sponge. Amateur, Psychedelic Circus was the theme, and in this, uh, in this competition we had 130 participants from 27 nations worldwide. And the top three are coming from Italy, Roberta Gazzetto. From South Korea, Yu So Hyun Yu. From South Korea, Ya Jung Lee. The Koreans are always very strong here. 135 points. The winner got. And the winner in the Amateur Award is... So Yong Yu from South Korea. Congratulations. Hankook Chuga Hamnida. Thank you very much for the great work, the stunning work that you sent us. And see you for sure next year, not in the Amateur Awards, at the World Championships. Because this work can compete on a big level, life in Klagenfurt. So, dear judges, we have a little short break and uh, we are back in a couple of minutes to go to the next category. We are coming to the Face Painting Award. But before that, I'd like to say a very warm welcome, Bella Volen, on my couch here. The first judge, and uh, Bella, you're a very high educated artist, body painter for 20 years. Do you still feel the passion for what you do when it comes to body painting? 
Of course, because I think passion is what drives us and what keeps us alive. And with body painting, it's so interesting because it could be combined with so many other art forms as well. Of course, things change. My priorities change now. I much more prefer to work alone in the studio without any noise and any people observing me. But it's what has changed for me. But I still love it and I still take time. What has changed also is that I started merging much more experiments and more different art forms together with the body painting. Also working, for example, with augmented reality, where the ready image can be scanned with a phone and one can see also the body painting video on top of it. Yes, I do have passion and I don't think I'll ever stop working in that area. I think you need to develop all the time, right? You have to Absolutely. change and transform and just <laughs> like, uh, yeah, you cannot stand still, right? If no. you love something, that's yes. the thing that you tr it drives you. And you were really active this week too, not only as a judge, <laughs> <laughs> you were painting um, in the inner city uh, in Klagenfurt in a beautiful square and uh, we have here a little review uh, what Bella was producing. Beautiful work. Della, uh, Bella, what was it about? What was it installa or like this performance body painting ar uh, about? It was more an installation. Um, unfortunately, the light was so strong, so one could not see the background which I painted. Um, and it was the main element. So it was called connected. And I think being connected, it's one of the main things on our planet. And when we observe, for example, the tribal cultures, the so-called primitive societies, they live in harmony with the planet, with the nature. Um, that's why they have also the initiation rituals because their main goal is after the initiation to be transmutated, which means to be mentally and physically a better human so you could support and help your community. And I think in our modern world, we see so much people who are so busy with themselves and less thinking about how can we contribute? Because the main thing, it's not how many educations we have, but what do we do with that? Do we support others? Are we a great member of society? I think this really matters. And um, the background was basically the root system. It's called the wood white web because all the trees are connected through a huge fungus system under the ground and they help each other. They transform information. They send each other water and nutrition. And I do believe that we humans have also such a natural connection. We are often not aware of that. So it was all about being more conscious and taking inspiration from the tribal culture and being more connected and doing more for the others. It's a little bit like the body painting community. We it are is. here also for each other. If it's someone true. needs a help, we are here. This is what it makes it up to have a community that is strong and that is also developed, but it is only possible when you can connect, right? Exactly, and you can connect when you, it's like a door. When you open your door and you're ready to be there for the others. We have another uh, artist here on our couch. It's Elena Talia Pietra. Buonasera. Buonasera. Elena, I am uh, reaching out to you uh, last winter and we spoke about a possible exhibition here in Klagenfurt. We have uh, the City Gallery that is uh, supporting us for many years. Ever since we are here in the city, we get possibilities to exhibit in different places, in galleries, in museums, so the World Body Painting Festival community can connect really with a good infrastructure in galleries and cultural partners. And I'm very happy because actually we wanted to skip this uh, exhibition to the year later, right? Uh, but it did happen. Uh, Italy opened the borders in the beginning of the month and uh, we could even, uh, even though it was exhausting to prepare for you, uh, we could even realize this exhibition. Um, what is the exhibition about in the City Gallery? So it's about uh, all my last year of works. Um, I did many projects more oriented of contemporary art, body painting. Uh, they are 
prints and uh, video art and also a performance of a day of opening because uh, I work in this way, in these three fields, not only photos or performance or video art. Um, if you want to understand my art, you have to see everything because uh, uh, each of uh, is, these steps are um, different. So in this uh, exhibition, you can see uh, this kind uh, of uh, doing uh, body painting, uh, my personal of uh, mine, that I began uh, 10 years ago, so it's a 10 years project. And I am very thrilled about your work. Um, I visited you in Venice, I saw your huge installations on the Marcus Square. I was thrilled, I was there with like goosebumps to see such a huge installation. And this uh, exhibition that you are uh, showing in the city galleries open throughout the whole summer till the 6th of September. If you have a chance, dear locals as well, if you have a chance, visit the city gallery. It's even for free this year in the summer. And uh, it's a beautiful exhibition where you can see the passion because it's so much with passion in your art and so much sometimes also hurt and some emotions. Um, Elena, you were also performing uh, an installation performance in the city center of Klagenfurt on the Alte, Altenplatz at the, at the column. Uh, you have brought over a couple of performers and models and we followed you with the camera and we did a little highlight of this performance. Let's have a look. performance about Europe. Tell us a little bit. What was this project about? Uh, when I understand that I could come, that the borders are open, I think about to do something about it. Because, um, and, and talk about all this last month, crazy last month. And um, because uh, in Italy, for, of course, I live in Milan. We, in one day, we close everything and I have to stay home for three months with my three, uh, three years old son <laughs> also. So it was crazy, but um, mostly the strange thing that uh, this, we don't know what to do, what happens. We ask to Europe, ask to Italy, ask to the doctors, but it seems that uh, nobody knows what to do. And this, this was um, strange for, for everybody, I think, also now. And uh, I want to talk about uh, this crazy situation in a visual way, I, uh, as I can do, because I think it's uh, good to, to talk about it. And uh, so the gold girl uh, represent Europe and uh, the blue and gold uh, performer are the Europe countries. And, but I think you can think about it uh, in similar situation all, all over the world. So just to yeah. talk uh, about this, because this is not normal. <laughs> and I hope uh, in future, next year, I can do again the um, collective art performance in San Marco Square again, but all over the world. Yes, COVID forces us, but it's not made for us. We need open borders. In Europe, everything needs to be open. And uh, we have to make sure, of course, that this stays like it is. Let's carry on. We have... Uh, a lot of different hotspots, as I mentioned before, and uh, another one was in Vienna. Let's have a look what was happening in Vienna. Hi, 
I'm Gabriella from Vienna and I'm the host here in the Austria's Makeup School for the World Body Painting Online Edition. This is my 19th year of the World Body Painting Festival and I can't imagine not to be part for one year. And the last years I won 10 trophies, three in gold. For this year I expect a lot of fun. The reason why I paint is uh, to say that no virus can be stronger as the big body painting family. And I hope all the participants worldwide have uh, as much fun as we do here in Vienna. And now I'm going to continue, the clock is ticking. The face painting category in this week was the strongest when it comes to the participants and the most international one. We had 143 participants from 42 nations and the very strong uh, day of the WBF Creative Hotspot was taking place also on that day in face painting in Korea. Let's have a look to Seoul, to the Korean Makeup Artist Association. Last year, our students had a good experience on 2019 WBF. It was the uh, joyful memory to have the uh, great artwork from area artists. This year, because of the COVID, 2020 WBF is delayed and we are very sorry that we can't go to Austria this year. It was very nice and interesting. We have the uh, artists from 50 countries bid online at the online competition. Let's get over the uh, COVID-19 and see you all in Austria next year. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Kamsahamida to Korea and of course we're gonna expect you in the next year with your huge group. The theme for the face painting award is Wonders of Nature and it's presented by Snazaru Makeup, a long time partner already from the festival. For many years they're presenting the World Face Painting Award. So let's have a look from all these nationalities and all these participants who are under the top three. And we have Noé Duran from Mexico, Alexis Arenas from Mexico, and Castro Gomez Adrian from Mexico. Oh my God. It's like the national championships of Mexico here with 146 points. The winner goes to Noé Duran. A very, very big congratulations to the world championship title. Face painting is already for many years at the festival. It's a very, very big, prestigious award. World champion in face painting is going to Mexico to an artist I follow personally on Facebook already for many, many years. And I was wishing at one point to have him in the competition. And the online event makes it happen. I'm very happy about it. Thank you very much. Bella, you're here as a judge and you also did the judging of this work. So why was that such an outstanding uh, piece of art? Well, first of all, it is always very difficult. We have to say that this year in the face painting and in the brush and sponge, we had so many strong works and it was very difficult. Um, his style of painting, it's incredibly alive 
incredibly fresh and all the elements, all the composition, the design, everything fits so perfectly. The way he described it, everything was just brilliant. But I have to say all the three were really, really strong. It's so difficult to decide who is the one who is the best, but his work was simply brilliant. We were all so excited to see his work. And most of all, he really has never been here. So for us, it was a big surprise to see this fresh, different quality. Beautiful. Congratulations to Mexico, first time winning the World Award in face painting. We're happy to give you out the trophy also next year on the stage. Maybe you can make it. We're going to have a little break right now, just very short, and we come back with the third category, a special award. <laughs> And we are back for the third category. This is a very amazing category. It's special effects makeup. It's very often inspired and developed by the movie industry. Lots of makeup artists who work behind the scenes for the movies are participating in this incredible category. We introduced special effects makeup some years ago at the World Body Painting Festival. And it's just always stunning, not only for the judges, especially for the audience and especially with all the stories they're presenting on stage. But first, welcome Birgit Mertel. Hello. Artist from Austria. She is living just actually around the corner, right? You are from Felden. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You grew up here yes. in Carinthia and uh, you are working since decades in Vienna. Right. Uh, since 25 years, I think. Since 25 yes. years. You are also double world champion in special effects body painting. That's right. What year was that? Oh, t 2004 and I don't know, seven maybe? 11? So the first one was quite some time <laughs> ago, basically, yes. right? Uh, yes. That's that shows you, that shows actually uh, how many years you are involved in the World Body Painting Festival. But you also won other awards. You also did installation award a lot. And your speciality is basically uh, also to combine the beauty of the body with colors, but also with costumes and the scenery around. Yes, that's right. So, uh, Birgit, you are as a judge the first time in such an online competition. Isn't that a bit weird? Yes, it was uh, very weird f for me because uh, I missed the, my whole body painting family. It's uh, it's very weird to to sitting in 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 the office in front of a computer, and uh, without our friends, without the parties, and without the fun. We had a little bit fun in the in the <laughs> jury office, but it was really hard work and uh, long work and no parties and uh, yeah. But um, can you specify long work? Long because work. Because when I ask you to be part of the judging, yeah. remember, I only told you <laughs> it's gonna take two or three hours. Yes, right. But uh, we were sitting every day the whole week. I don't know. F yesterday I was sitting there in the office for eight hours because I was also in the makeup jury and in the in the normal jury, and uh, in the evening my my hand hurts because. I, I'm not used to work From on the clicking. computer, <laughs> <laughs> look in the computer, sitting there, and yeah, it was different. It was a strange, it was difficult. It was different, the yes. IT always have to work, right? Because yes. not only the connection to the voting system, but also to review so many images, it's crazy. So yeah. let's go back to your installation work. Mm -hmm. You also performed uh, this week in uh, Klagenfurt mm -hmm. yep. as Every artist, <laughs> uh, every judge, basically. Yes. Um, so let's have a look what was happening there.
dying, seeking him, and the cause was dying. Can you tell me a little bit, because you had like f four, five, six performers, um, yeah. what, was the me what, what was the message you wanted to give with that piece? The, the whole installation was about uh, the corona and um, it's, okay. It's the title it was, what was the title? Uh, it was uh, like, uh, it was COVID. Covid, yes, yeah. and uh, I wanted to show it, it's very, very, very bad for all of us, yes. But um, there are also some very good things for our world because uh, our world needs help, and um, the nature is breathing now, and um, we have to save our planet a little bit. And uh, but I hope the the coronavirus will go away. <laughs> Very soon. And I hope we save our planet a little more than a little bit. <laughs> uh, yes, a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. But um, let's take the good yeah. out of this crisis. Yes. We take. We always. We are positive people, right? That's right. We and take out what is good. Yes. And uh, we found the connection to the family, to right, friends. Right. Friends. Yeah. A little off from the internet. Yes. And that is important thing. The community right. is so important. And Bigit, you, <laughs> I know you already for so many years, and I brought <laughs> you a little trophy. A little honorary trophy. You have been at the festival already as a participant, as a participant, as a participant. And then all of a sudden you say, like, oh, maybe I'm going to be a judge. And then you say, like, oh, maybe I'm going to not participate. One year I want to be a visitor. <laughs> and that was not very interesting, right? It was, it was very boring. Yes. <laughs> I would like to give you a little appreciation award. Oh, thank you. For being 20 years and creating and being part of our community. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Alex. This is very important. Without these people, without the community, this festival would not work at all. So I'm very happy that we can have such a great, amazing community. Whenever I need something from her or anybody <laughs> else here, they are here for me and not only for the judging. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so it is the day three of the World Body Painting Festival Week. The category is Special Effects Makeup and we're gonna have a look what was happening in the hotspot, the WBF Creative Hotspot in the Netherlands at the Superstar Headquarter. I am sure all of you miss Klagenfurt, miss Austria. We also miss Austria. We miss seeing all our friends from all over the world. We cannot do what we love the most, so that's, that's not that much fun. We all need to learn some lessons. But if we all stay positive and flexible and keep connecting, it will all be fine in the future. And not from everybody of the 19 hotspots in all around the world, we got uh, footage. We requested some, but we put a few together where we just got a little, a little insight. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kara. This is my beautiful model, Yasmin. Hi! We are in Adelaide, Australia. We're having the time of our lives! <laughs> <laughs> so the most beautiful thing about body painting for me is transforming a human canvas into something amazing and colourful. Hello, I'm Lorna from Australia. This is my first time being part of the World Body Paint Festival and I'm loving it. Body painting is 
it, it just opens the door to such a new world. Um, painting on bodies, I mean, people's bodies are so powerful. It's such a powerful tool. Hi, Yolanda Bartram from New Zealand at Body Effects, and here is my beautiful model, Marina, for special effects makeup today. don't have to think about putting everything in my suitcase and hoping to get it there in time or shipping it you know so um, yeah it definitely has its advantages like that however there's nothing like the actual world champs where you can see all the amazing artists working We like so much the atmosphere of freedom and creativity of World Body Painting Festival. Every artist feels um, at easy and comfortable and absolutely relaxed. We are absolutely coming back to Corinthia next year. And of course. my one wish would be that I could drink Bulmers at Panama with you guys this year after the competition. <laughs> this would have been my 11th year at the festival, so I, I'm sorry to, to be here, but this is the best we can do to participate, so this is what we're up to. Everybody is enjoying, even though if they are stuck at their home, at their studio, or in an outdoor or in an indoor place. But what is the artist without a canvas? Nothing. And in body painting, the canvas is three-dimensional and the canvas can also dance, perform, sing, scream or cry. And uh, how important this award is, uh, how important the model is, we created an award many years ago, already at the second or third year of the festival, we said like, we also want to appreciate the work of a model. Therefore, we have a World Award Trophy for the best model in the festival. This award is getting uh, presented always during the procedure of the photo competition. Artists are at the festival, photographers at the festival, they produce a lot, a lot of images and then they're sending these images to us in a photo competition. When we judge that, we see how a model was performing, how involved, and therefore we have this award. Welcome, Sarah Kampic. Hi, thanks for being here. Sarah, you are, we awarded you already. You know that you are the model of the year 2019, last year. We actually printed a magazine. This is the magazine from the year before, but we printed a magazine and we did an interview with you uh, in this magazine that is now only available as an e-paper, but this one will be printed very soon. Sarah, what is it for you to be a model, a body painting model? I think there's a difference, actually. <laughs> for me, body painting or being a model for body painting is more like being an actor or being an actress, actually, because you're, I don't know, I think you get to know yourself again and again in so many different ways and so many different perspectives that maybe you didn't realize before that you have, like you have characteristics um, that maybe yesterday you didn't have. So I really like that for me, it's really more acting. It's also thrilling, it's an amazing experience and it's super crazy, definitely. <laughs> Are you connecting with the artist long ahead? Do you speak with the artist before or are you the type of model that says like I come on a set, the artist is painting and he will tell me a story and I'm going to just like mm, give out that emotions that uh, the artist wants from you as a canvas? I think it really depends on the artist. I have, um, there are some people that I work with um, many times so I already know them, I know their ideas and they tell me before. For me, the most important is the day of the festival or the day of the painting when I can finally see it as well. I need the story um, to realize what it's about, what I'm going to be. And the most important moment for me always is um, when everything is done and I see the first full body picture of me because then I 
it kind of clicks and I know who I am, what I have to do, and I kind of really get the feeling of performing right. And that's what you can see in a photo, in a video, and uh, everybody who captures the body painting art is happy with such mm, a strong connection of the model to the artist. And let's have a quick look uh, how the festival looks like from the perspective of a model. We do installation like a belly dance, like RM, with a sultan and Bakhti Sarai's waterfall. I really like because I visit Swarovski, or Swarovski for the girl is the best, and the crystal, and yes, I'm very happy to be a part of our installation. We, we're here from 9 o'clock. It's very difficult, so I'm very tired, but uh, when I own the stage, I all the time with full power. It's very important. This is a World Award trophy. Artists in and photographers that do get such a trophy and also the model of the year, 2019, and this is yours. Dear Sarah, I would like to hand that over to you and I hope you're gonna memorize this many, many years. Usually I would have given you this trophy live on stage, of course whenever you perform in front of thousands and thousands of people at the World Body Painting Festival. But I hope you're going to minimal enjoy this trophy at home. I will definitely. Thank, thank you, you for so joining much. us. Oh, what, by the way, what was the face, their favorite, what was the favorite, uh, most favorite festival? I think this one. Do you have one? This one? This one, definitely. Yeah. Um, what year was that? That was 2014, I think. Is that the first? Uh, it was my second year I think as a model and I had all this energy still yeah <laughs> I was just pushing through the week I had so much adrenaline to share and I think that's I also loved the um, the painting the most I guess Wonderful. so I think that was my favorite year cool thank you for joining <laughs> us and we see you on stage I guess with one of our artists live in Klagenfurt. Definitely. We come to the next category, or not the next category, we come to the awarding, the special award in special effects makeup, presented by Krylon, was under the theme evolution. Birgit, we had 41 participants from 19 different nations and the winners, all of them actually, the top three, they just flashed us at the jury. Let's have a look. Who were the top three? in the category Special Effects Makeup. We had Tatiana Velichkina from Russia, Kaio Sato from Japan, and Effie Tsimpi from Greece. And the winner with 184 points for the first time coming from Greece, Effie Tsimpi. Congratulations, the first champion in special effects makeup goes to Greece. If it's in me, I tried to connect with you before, but it was not really possible. Anyway, I'm gonna send you a beautiful trophy very soon. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and I hope, or not I hope, I want you to be coming to the festival next year in Austria and show your beautiful work to the big audience. Big it. Can you give me a comment on this? What was uh, this art about and why was it standing out the most? Uh, this, this work uh, was really, really very good because it's, it's so detailed and the special effects were amazing and uh, all pieces were perfect and, and the, the glue and the blendings and, and overall it was, it was perfect. A well-deserved first yes. place. Congratulations to Greece. We have a, another short break and we are back with the fourth category.
the second special award is Creative Makeup. And we started a long time ago with the Creative Makeup and we got from the beginning already a very international interest from makeup artists all around the world. It's a category that is very different to body painting and to face painting, but it's a really huge highlight for our photography community. The judges that we had in this category, we tried to connect online. We had two categories on one day and it was almost impossible to have two um, or like one category, one, one judging team. So we had an online judging team and uh, we uploaded all of these images from the creative makeup uh, competition on our web server and our web gallery. We had to vote it online and it was quite exhausting because there were also so many participants. We had to change last minute. This is what happens in a live event, of course. Last minute, we had to change two judges. In the end, I'm very happy to present you some judges, or basically names, because they are not on my couch tonight, but I'm sure they are looking now this show. Einat Dan from Tel Aviv, it was Julia Voron from Kiev, Matila Inocemceva from Dniepro, and also Bigit Mertl, who jumped in on site, like literally last minute, there wasn't judge, wasn't able to come, and Bigit took the eight hours, that's what she just mentioned before, to uh, judge also more than 100 artists. Let's have a look what was happening on the Creative Makeup Day in Hong Kong. Hello everybody, this is Karen Yu from Hong Kong. So today we are get together in Hong Kong. Hong Kong Makeup Artists is our academy. We will do the World Body Painting Festival for the Special Makeup Award. So today like, and we are here in our studio. So we just finished and then we'll do the photo shoot. I'm so happy. Uh, my special thing, like last time actually we partnered together with Leo so we do like um, uh, makeup and also the photo shoot so a lot of people like they can get together for photography and also like makeup artists so can then take a class together and then do the photo shoot I am always like looking forward to exchange uh, with other makeup artists and instructors so I'm so happy if I can invite uh, like uh, all the body painter, the world body painting champion you know come to Hong Kong either teach makeup or teach body painting so I'm really looking forward in the future to go to your place or you come to my place and then we can connect it and then exchange our skill together this is the funky Karen Yu. She's already coming to the festival for many years and it's a very strong community of makeup artists in Hong Kong at her Hong Kong Makeup Artist Center where she educates a lot of people. Let's have a look to another city that has a very, very strong community and they won so many trophies at the last year's festival in the makeup categories in Kiev. Hello everyone from Kyiv, Ukraine. My name is Galina and I am a small part of big team of Kati Professional. During two years, the team of Kati Professional came in Austria and took part in the competition. Last year, we were very successful, especially in the makeup categories. And our expectations uh, for this year COVID edition are positive. 
but of course until the last moment we believe that we could meet in Austria with all participants and with all judges and we hope to feel the atmosphere of World Body Painting Festival. And of course, we hope that uh, next year KD Professionals team will come back in Carinthia and will present the makeup on the main stage. Video and photography is a very important part of the World Body Painting Festival and that already from the beginning. When in 1998 we started, we had already uh, the photo competition, we had already workshops for photographers and was very excited about that and uh, over the years we added a lot of other programs, especially for the photographers and we also designed the photo books to just memorize what was captured back in these beautiful years. Um, I have a guest here, it's uh, Daniel Janisch. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. You are a photographer from the beginnings of the festival already. The first year you came to the World Body Painting Festival was in? I don't know exactly, maybe 2000, let's say six. 2006, you came as an event photographer, then right. you told me, have my photos and use them in the gallery, which was very cool. And then you came back and you tried to, or like we, you were welcome in our crew. We, uh, you had a lot of different um, knowledge in photography, in IT. Uh, I heard you were also as a producer back on uh, like in production. So there is a lot of abilities that you have and we are very happy to have you uh, in, in our crew. In the last years, uh, you uh, were part of the jury team of the World Body Painting Festival photo competition as well. So before we talk about the photo winners from the last year, let's have a look what the festival looks like from the perspective of a photographer. I came uh, to the World Body Painting Festival for the first time 10 years ago and since then I've been coming every year. I plan uh, my vacation around the body painting because we only get three weeks of vacation. So two of those weeks is to come here and be at the World Body Painting Festival, do side projects beforehand, but it's uh, totally worth it. It's just one of the most beautiful, amazing festivals uh, there are. an art that only lives for a day and uh, once the day is done um, the model washes herself and you can never replicate it because you're never gonna have the same combination same person same artist kind of same environment it's uh, very very exciting Dimitri Moiseev from Canada was there featured and uh, he's coming many years and he also won already the photo competition Daniel do you think the possibilities changed for photographers over the time ever since you joined us the first time? Yes, I think so. Um, they, they, their, cate their categories um, have multiplied a few times. So in the start, in the beginning, there were only were two categories. And currently we have 10 of categories, two different categories where you can uh, do your photo stuff. In fact, um, we have 12. 12? Oh, sorry. <laughs> We have 12 okay, different yes. categories and in these 12 different categories you can produce, of course, I guess, much more uh, than only with one category. Right, that's correct. And also the location has changed. We were first in Seeboden, then Bircher and now in Klagenfurt. So um, every of these um, locations has then only have their, only their uh, unique style and unique uh, uh, flair. Mm -hmm. 
And for the photographers, I think in Klagenfurt, is it very good because you have very many spots around the ground, so you can do uh, various of shots. You were in the jury um, in the last year. Uh, we have actually a quite similar structure when we judged uh, this week the online e uh, competition uh, versus when we do the photo jury. So for you, it was actually something very normal, right? Right. Correct. And uh, the photo winners from the last year were presented already in uh, the winter time. Um, we have two different categories in photography. Mm, can you just mention these two? Uh, yeah, there, are, there is the first category is just a uh, basic uh, photo mm -hmm. with with classic photo. It's called I think. classic body painting. Or is that classic something? body painting? Yes. Yeah. Um, On our wall, for example. Right. This is the work of the winner. Yeah. Um, in this category. In this category. Classic or best body painting photo. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the second category, or should we talk about this first? Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, the winner photo, if you look at a photo um, and you see it, you will not imagine that this is a really photo of a person standing in front of a photo. Right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, the main aspect, because of this photo was winning, is um, first that the background um, goes in slightly with the foreground and you doesn't recognize the, the, the uh, three-dimension uh, which have in real life. So I think um, the quality of this image is the best, so it has won. Um, in fact, it was actually um, a participant in the installation art category. Right. That's also why this body painting is not like a classic body painting category, just to mention. Correct. But in the photo competition, it does not matter. We're not judging the body painting in the photo competition. We are judging the quality, the technical part, the quality, also the composition of the for photo. Sure. Or the idea, the, the, the image idea, right? Right. And for me personally, when I judge, also it counts if I see the image and I have a wow effect. Mm -hmm. You know? If I see the image as wow, it is a winner photo. It is a wow. Ah, right. <laughs> and we have, uh, the winner was the, Ivo, uh, the German Ivo photographer, Winterhack. Ivo Winterhack. Right. Yeah. Also a long time already at the festival. And the second category is uh, the, a new category. Only two years we do that because, beca because of the, the, the amount of artists taking part in the creative makeup category. Um, we get so much more footage and so much more images in uh, in the in the photo competition. So we created a second um, a second category, which was the best photo slash fashion photo. Right, fashion. So let's have a look. This one is from the winner Carsten in Renz. Carsten Renz, yes, also from Germany. Germany, right. Right. So this was a very beautiful image. Uh, that he sent us, and it got the first place. Why? Okay, <laughs> big why. Um, also, wow effect. You know, mm -hmm. if you see the image, it is... Mm, I doesn't find the words, mm -hmm. but um, it is black. Um, you have to imagine the situation where the photographers are doing these images is live. There is green trees around, and they have natural light, and you have a black background. And this image looks like there is, the image is done in the studio. Yeah, in, yeah. A, in a perfect setup. In a perfect setup. So this is the, the first point uh, why this image got first. The second one is you doesn't see shadows in the face, minimal shadows, mm -hmm. which is not very usual when you're shooting outside. So this is the second part. And the third part is the composition. Um, it is not centered, it is a little slightly out of the center. Uh, also the, the look and the, um, the, how do you say, the Stimmung. Mm. The you know? expression maybe? The expression of the model is also is great. great, for sure. And it's, it's, a a great model. it's a really good model. Good model. And the makeup artist was amazing. For I think yes. she also was under the top three when 
the model she competition. was she, uh, no, no not in the model competition in the creative makeup ah yeah as I in see. you know the artist yeah. i'm talking about yeah yeah Beautiful. that's the reason because mm -hmm. everything has to fit to get the perfect image and exactly also a little bit luck is also the artist the photographer and everything. the model it's right. like a symbiosis right and the winner was Carsten Renz, I think he also sent us uh, an image with his trophy. We sent out the trophies already uh, ahead. And uh, we also have to present that only via post, unfortunately. But we will catch up with that. Thank you, Daniel, for being here. Thank you um, for as you know, I love to give out trophies and everything. And uh, we got also prizes from our partners and sponsors, such as Krylan and uh, also creative artists. They're always approaching me and saying, uh, like, oh, can I present uh, this new tool that I have? Because it saves me to uh, work as a makeup artist. It makes me faster. And we have Julia Vlasova from St. Petersburg who sent me uh, a little video and she's giving out all of these goodies to the winners and I'm very happy to show her tool a little bit. Hello everybody, I'm Julia Vlasova. I'm body art and special effect artist and designer of laser accessories. My palette was designed and created to simplify the work of artists working with any colors and different materials. Me and my creative team have tested this product. I take into account all the wishes of my colleagues to make it not only functional, but also a beautiful and comfortable accessory. On the palette you can mix any textures and create new shades. The palette consists of vinyl and leather. It's uh, very easy to clean even by white. You can choose one of three sizes. Your hands will be saved from discomfort. You will work faster. I'm sure that this palette will be useful to you. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. I'm pretty sure this is going to be very useful for all the winners and getting faster and cleaner and healthier and safer uh, in their work. Thank you very much, Julia, for this. And we come to the winners. That's why we're here for. We want to know who won this huge competition in makeup. We had 106 competitors from 30 different nations in this category. It's a category that is presented and supported by the On Makeup magazine and Base Formula. And the theme in this category was candy. I love candies. The top three in this category, let's have a look, are coming from the Netherlands. Joyce Sparkman from Russia, Tatiana Velichkina, and from Finland, Emma Reisinen. It, it's a random number, but the winner with 146 points, is coming from the Netherlands, Joyce Sparkman. Congratulations. The first time that you were in this competition and the first time you walk home already with a beautiful trophy in special effects, sorry, in creative makeup. And once again, also you in the top three, we would love to see live at the World Body Painting Festival in July next year. We have a little break when we come back to the second last block, the second last category, World Award, Airbrush. See you. And we are back for the next second last category, World Award Airbrush. This has been a category already f since the third festival when the body painting artists started to use airbrush and we didn't have a category. We thought like, okay, we're going to have to split up. In the beginning, we only had brush sponge, the classic one. Then there came airbrush. 
Then there comes uh, body painting, special effects, and face painting, and so on. We ended up with 12 different categories last year, and this year we have six online categories. I have here one of our dear judges, Ernst Wieser, local Austrian artist from the mountains, I would say. Ernst Wieser has been already in the festival since the second year, in 1999. I mentioned just before that you are part of this community, of this craziness, maybe, a little bit. And uh, Ernst, what changed during such a long period? What changed for you personally or what changed for your art in such a time? Oh, there's a big change, I think. So I'm an Airbrasher, maybe since 40 years. And so after then, sometimes we met us to make body painting. And so we started with the judging. And still 22 years, 21 years, it was a movement, really a movement. First, we had a bad meeting just for fun, just for um, make some noise, why not? Just craziness, but it's going up and it's going up. And today it's very, very professional. Very professional, very popular. The uh, artwork that is coming in into the categories is just amazing. The airbrush category mm, is one of the uh, shorter category, uh, not shorter, but one of those categories Small. with not so many participants. I'm telling you later how many we had. Your home, uh, Hermagor, is uh, in Carinthia, in the south of Austria, and it's kind of, no, not it's kind of, it's like one of the most beautiful mountain scenery. How important is nature for you when it comes to your life philosophy and your, your art? How important is that? The spirit of nature, mountains, uh, all the rocks are very important for me. It's my soul. I'm living there. I like it. I like the nature where I'm alone. And I can make my spirit onto my own uh, mentioning. And so I'm living there. And sometimes I go to the city, maybe to urban city, and make some noise. Otherwise, I like it to be alone in my mountains. And last weekend, you were uh, followed by our student team, led by Ulf Scherling, uh, who followed you on the mountains. And uh, we have a little video uh, review about that. Let's have a look. Mein Name ist Ernst Wieser, bin body künstler Wirtschaftstreibender, lebe von der Kunst, lebe von der Malerei, lebe für die Malerei und auch für die Natur. Für mich ist es sehr wichtig, das Bodypainting mit der Natur zu verbinden und dem ganzen Thema eine Seele zu geben. Bodypainting für mich als Arbeitsbereich ist für mich ein Thema, um Sachen zu zeigen, die man sonst nicht sieht. Also bewegliche Kunst am Körper, die wiedergegeben wird über Fotografie oder Filmen, weil sie wirklich vergänglich ist. Bodypainting ist spirituell für mich sehr, sehr wichtig, weil ich arbeite da mit einem lebenden Menschen eigentlich und ich muss mich da reinfühlen und es muss ein gewisser Geist dahinter sein, um ein gutes Ergebnis zu erreichen. Meine Heimat, das sind die Berge, auf denen bin ich zu Hause, sind eigentlich meine Seele. Ich lebe mit ihnen, sobald ich auf der über 2000 Meter Höhe bin, habe ich ein anderes Befinden, ein anderes Gefühl und ich spüre genau diese Ehrlichkeit, diese Verbundenheit mit der Welt und mit der Natur. Am Berg ist die Kreativität etwas größer als bei großen Menschenmassen, da ich eigentlich leicht eremitiert lebe oder sehr gerne alleine bin, dadurch kann ich meinen Geist besser entfalten. Ich bin eigentlich von Haus aus ein Erbarscher. Ich habe vor ca. 30 Jahren Kontakt bekommen mit dem ersten Mal mit dem Bodypainting bei einer Werbemesse. habe mir gedacht, oh, das ist was sehr Interessantes, könnte ich auch mal probieren. Und so ist das dann Step by Step entstanden. Bis ungefähr vor 20 Jahren 
wo wir mit dem Body Painting Festival in Kontakt gekommen sind und es ist eine Entwicklung dahinter bis heute, die wirklich interessant zu beobachten ist. Man verändert sich wirklich von Jahr zu Jahr. Begonnen hat man das mit dem Body Painting eigentlich mit so kleinen Werbemaßnahmen, also kleine Auftragsgeschichten. Mittlerweile interessiert mich die nur mal sehr, sehr wenig. Ich möchte das mitteilen, was ich den Menschen mitteilen möchte. Und natürlich hat sich auch der Stil entwickelt. Zuerst waren wir reine Airbrusher. Mittlerweile verwenden wir sämtliche Hilfsmittel, mit denen man arbeiten und malen kann, bis zur Vollendung. Und das verändert sich bis wirklich aus ist bis zum Tode. Einen Körper zu inszenieren heißt für mich nicht unbedingt, dass wir die Übertop-Modelle brauchen, sondern was kann ich mit diesem Körper erzählen und wie kann ich den Körper dazu bringen, dass er was erzählt. Man kann negative Beispiele wegretuschieren, man kann Positives hervorheben und daraus eine schöne, interessante Story zu machen. Das heutige Thema wird Forseti sein. Forseti ist eine Anlehnung auf der nordischen Gottheit. Gerechtigkeit und Ausgleich soll das heißen. Gerechtigkeit und Ausgleich in der Natur, auf den Bergen, ohne jegliche Krankheiten und Diseases, sondern wirklich die Natur pur und der Geist des Berges davor zu heben. Impressive images from the mountain range in Carinthia. Ernst, how far did you go up? And I guess it wasn't very easy to produce this video there, right? Yes, yeah, so this mountain maybe have 2,200 meters altitude. And so we have to carry a little bit up. And we had a lot of fun in this afternoon. It was really crazy and we were so lucky. So we had really a fine weather. I was there in the beginning only to say hello to the whole team and it was quite hot, I must say. All our camera guys, they came back home with a very big suntan. <laughs> but I'm happy that they still carried on their great work throughout the whole week. So Ernst, um, you also spoke a little bit that the spiritual part is one thing um, more important than the commercial part. Uh, in your body paintings that you started with, basically. But you also were part yesterday of a program that we did in the inner city uh, in Klagenfurt under the title Living Mannequins. We have here about a dozen artists that are judges or those ones who say, like, I'm coming anyway to Klagenfurt. I'm going to compete in the online competition from Klagenfurt and this just basically do the same as all the other hotspots. Um, but we have involved or in incorporate or we have added them into this beautiful uh, sh little shopping experience, the living mannequins. Let's have a little review on that. <laughs>
Wow, very cool clip. I haven't seen that clip before. Good work from our Trend Media production team. Awesome. That was in Klagenfurt. And now we are having a look on the creative hotspot in Barcelona to the Katzkara Image Group. Yes, hola to Barcelona from Barbara and Sonia to give us a little impression from their Katskara image group. Next is the hotspot in Klagenfurt because there were also a couple of artists painting in the Goethe Park where the festival usually would take place. It was quite empty. There were no people, no rush, no hardcore music, only the nature and a couple of visitors. Let's have a look in Klagenfurt. category with the theme psychedelic circus everybody painting category this week was under the same theme psychedelic circus it was a category presented by Kryolan and in this category we had 41 participants from 18 different nationalities and we're gonna have a look in random order who are the top three Coming from Brazil, living in Italy, Alex Hansen, Julia Vlasova from Russia and Udo Schur from Germany. And the winner is... From Brazil, Alex Hansen, again! Congratulations, Alex Hansen. He usually, oh, he took already a couple of trophies home. He is usually the crazy guy who is energetic at the festival, who keeps the crowd together, and he is always the party. Wherever Alex Hansen is, is the party. Congratulations to the first online award. And uh, we tried. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> it was such a great event. Uh, I really enjoyed painting. I had a great crowd here. It was such an enjoyable piece and uh, it was a lot of work and it was worth it because, you know, I love the festival and it always brings out the best in, in me and all, also the other artists that I participate with. So thank you so much for everything and hopefully, you know, <laughs> we get to hang out next year. Yeah, nice camera angle, Alex. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, technically, we tried to reach out to all the winners, but, you know, we have a Corona crisis team. Everybody was working like 24 hours 7, and our team isn't as big, and we could not manage that. But I'm very lucky and very happy that we, can, we could connect to uh, Alex Hansen, Brazilian artist because he is living in Italy, it was a little easier with a time difference. So, we are at the end of the airbrush category, block five. There is only one category left. We are back in a couple of minutes.
And we are back for the final category, World Award Brush Sponge, the classic with the biggest crowd. Mike Shane, last but not least judge in our judging team, a very warm welcome here. Thank you. And Mike, uh, you are not only a judge, of course, you're an artist already for many years. You came to the festival already for... 20 years, years. <laughs> <laughs> and also for you i would like to give you an appreciation award thanks a lot for being such a support such a beautiful element of the body painting community of the festival community and of course of our association thank you you showcase also this week like every judge uh, this week something in klagenfurt mm -hmm. And uh, before we're gonna go deeper in this story, let's give us some visuals. Mike Shane, beautiful installation, performance. When you told me the first time you want to do a little performance at the festival, and I'm always the first to say like, yes, of course we do. <laughs> we do everything. It doesn't matter. I don't care if the stage is a bit messy, but when you did this first action painting at the World Body Painting Festival the first time, I don't know how many hundreds of liters of colors you were using. Maybe it was only 20, but it was 20. For, for our show technique company, Droneberger, there wasn't 20. <laughs> there was like a little disaster. Anyway, I was very thrilled about uh, this different approach. I was used to see classic body painting, illustration, um, sometimes a bit abstract, but action painting was something new at the festival. And uh, how did you develop that? What was like... Like many times uh, in life, it came uh, as a coincidence, actually. Hmm. We were trying out, uh, my photographer and me, we were thinking about new stuff. How can we approach body painting from a different angle? And, um, and I got into a, into a TV studio with a blue, uh, blue box. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, maybe if I make the models disappear with the same blue, and then I would splash some white color on them, then the bodies would appear that you wouldn't see before. Right. And we tried it out, and we were super amazed ourselves that it came out so well but it has at that moment not been a performing issue it was a it was a photograph photographic thing mm -hmm. but then we thought maybe bring it up on the stage and try that try to make color fly and try to get some action in this business mm -hmm. and that's how it developed and um and you did exaggeration, maybe in the beginning, or <laughs> well, or I w was I one of these pe people who who dragged you down not to splash that crazy. <laughs> in this uh, specific <laughs> performance, yes, <laughs> uh, but that was only because, uh, like you mentioned, the first performance on stage <laughs> in uh, 2003 was such a mess. It was uh, we had great uh, photos, but it was a mess. Now, if somebody's telling me we're on the holy place of Klagenfurt, then please you know, control your color. <laughs> I will. I became mature, so, um, you know. Art is very important for you, for, of course, everybody. Um, but uh, you uh, developed also other skills because you, you also have a big uh, connection to nature, right? Absolutely. So in your home, in your surrounding, you are uh, creating and developing your art farm or how you call it? Um, our art farm uh, and the project Mike and the Muse that I have with my wife, uh, Muse, hi there. Um, uh, we both um, 
became herbalists, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, we live in a very nice house in a small valley in uh, Styria. And I this see is that. You saw that? Very beautiful. And this is where we try to connect these two very interesting worlds. We try to put the art inside, but in the same time we try to um, develop our, our nature skills and um, yeah, it's hard to explain. Just come and visit, guys. Actually, is, is, we that, is that what is coming out of your herbal education? This is actually what comes out when you try and play with alcohol instead <laughs> of uh, color. Colors. Um, brown is a nice color, though. Brown is nice. Uh, Why not? I prefer the black, though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, by the way, this is not the this is not the new singer, and this, this is, is also not, not a whiskey. No. So I'm sorry. Um, no, actually, this is one of the products we have. Um, I'm trying to to uh, you know. Making a living out of art is a tough one, and uh, I needed to find new ways also to survive. So, is I it inspiring also? Yeah, I, I can imagine working with nature is a lot of inspiration for the art, right? Absolutely, but it comes in from a different angle. Mm. It's uh, like Ernst uh, mentioned before. It's once you get into nature, once you get into that nat natural flow. Um, you think about other stuff, and and eventually there's something coming into your head that is that will become creative in the end. So it's like a um, transitionary mm -hmm. thing in my life. Okay. And it's very nice. It, it's, it's good. I Let appreciate it. Cool. Transition. We transition to the next hotspot, the WBF Creative Hotspot. Okay. Let's have a look what was happening in Rostock. Hallo aus Rostock! Preparations are always to me are always the biggest part of the fun because I love making up a character and digging into it, doing researches in it and studying it and sticking heads in with my team. So when we arrive at the VBF in Austria, everything is ready to go and we're just happy to show it. <laughs> Being a world champion has helped me grow as an artist and I want to say a big thank you to Alex and his team for putting up all the hard work to put this festival together. Last year the team award of the world championships and uh, she is a very great artist, unfortunately also just online this year. Psychedelic Circus and the video that you just saw from Claudia was really great. Wow, she had a really cool production on site. And uh, when I ask uh, our presenter of the brush sponge category and main sponsor, Krylon, I ask them, hey, send us some, mm, some, some, some ads for our TV show. But instead of sending us a, uh, a standard commercial app, um, they simply thought about how we can interpret psychedelic circus in the Kryland way and James Paul Merchant show it.
Thailand, thank you for this visual. And now we are coming to the last world champion title in the WBF 2020 COVID edition. Psychedelic Circus participants from 34 nations, 152 entries, and the three top performers are Claudia Kremer from Germany, Noé Duran from Mexico, and Daniele Piovano from Italy. And the winner is with 150 points. Again from Mexico, Noé Duran. A very, very big congratulations. You won not only the face painting category, you also won the World Award in brush sponge. Noé Duran, I'm very, very, very happy with the results, of course. Everybody deserved it, but outstanding work. Dear judges, Bella, maybe you want to have a little comment on this work, which is new to us, new artists. Yes, absolutely. A new artist. I really have to say, again, this year, I think judging Brush and Sponge was extremely difficult. I was writing down my notes and I had 25 extraordinary good works. And we were really so excited to see so much good quality. I think the fact that so many artists were working from home gave them a lot of peace. And that's why the quality was so good. This work was very, very powerful. His ideas, as I mentioned before, for his fa face painting, the freshness of color, the design, the composition, everything was floating, was so colorful and just melting perfectly together. And also he had a lot of work on the front, on the back, Everything was just perfect because there are artists who have a great front, but maybe the rest is not so good. With him, everything was just brilliant. World champion 2020 COVID edition twice is going to a new country, to Mexico. Ernst, next year, July, Klagenfurt, the date is 18th to 24th July. Are you excited to have again a live event? It was, would be the best thing we can do. Please come to us and hopefully we, we have a little chance against this crazy COVID-19. And the next time at the World Body Painting Festival, we are used to judge in a beautiful gallery, right? There is a gallery that we get access to and the judging room is basically a gallery. So, Mike Shane. I yeah. guess uh, you're very excited about next year too. Um, any comments? What do you think? Is there something that we can do better? Or should we maybe have more participants in, the, in an online competition? Uh, that's a difficult question. Oh, is it a time question or is it like a uh, uh, like work question? Big had mentioned before sitting in the office box for many hours watching the screen. Without catering provided from us. With oh, we had <laughs> beautiful uh, evening meals. Um, no, I, I really think that many of those new people that uh, showed up over the online uh, competition, they should come and get the feel of the real festival. Great. Uh, that would be awesome, I guess. Bigot, eight hours judging is not really the thing. Next year, what's your wish? My wish is uh, see... See, see our body painting family next year, all of us, and having a good time, nice time, party together, hugging without corona. <laughs> so let's hope the best and see, see us next year. <laughs> Wonderful. We are at the end of our show. This is the World Body Painting Festival 2020. And this would not be happening without the support, the great support of a great team of great sponsors. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the judges. Thank you for the team. Thank you to the students from the Fachhochschule, from the University of Applied Science, to Trend Media, who did such an amazing production. Thank you very much to Droneberger Show Technik, who created this studio for us. It's just amazing. And of course, to the support of our dear partners and sponsors, Klagenfurt, Carinthia, the south of Austria. This is 
where we are. Thank you also to all the tone technicians who are involved here, to the makeup artist Monica and Natasha's Scenic Beauty Studio who helped us to get and look pretty in front of the camera. I'm very thankful and I hope to see you next year in a live event. Thank you to the drummer, Christoph Skook. He is, yesterday I called out on Facebook, I need a drummer in the studio and he's like, Alex, if you need me, I'm here. And he was yesterday also in a press conference showing his new single. And this is our final song for today. The song is called My Love from the Stockhirtler. Thank you very much. I love you all. See you next year. <laughs>